Hey, what's up guys, MKBHD here. Have you ever heard of Oppo? O-P-P-O? Probably not. They're a phone manufacturer based in China. They are doing amazing things right now that almost no one is talking about, so I wanted to bring up one of their latest creations. But first, they are not a one-hit wonder. Let's take a look at one of the other things that they've done recently. The Oppo Finder was their previous creation, and despite what Apple tells you, the Finder is actually the thinnest smartphone in the world by a lot. It's 6.65 millimeters thin. To give you perspective, the Droid Razor is 7.1 and the iPhone 5 is, I think, 7.6. So the Oppo Finder is a ridiculously thin phone. And they also released the world's thinnest quad-core smartphone, too. And now Oppo has done it again. They've announced and unveiled the world's first 1920 by 1080 smartphone. I'll let that sink in for a second. I'll give you a second. Yeah. 1080p. Has it hit you yet? Okay, perspective. The iPhone 5 has a four inch, 326 PPI display. The new phone called the Oppo Find, which is what it's called, has a five inch, 441 PPI display. That's 35% higher pixel density. That's 2.85 times the number of pixels on the iPhone 5 screen. That is absolutely ridiculous. But that's not all. It's more than just a pretty face. It ships with the latest and greatest in hardware and software. It ships with Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Pretty impressive. Inside is the latest quad-core Snapdragon S4 chip, which just about destroys every other chip on the market right now. It has <clears throat> two gigabytes of RAM, a 2500 milliamp hour battery, expandable storage, and a 12 megapixel camera. Okay. Are you getting all this? Shut up and take my money! Okay, so a lot of people will say that your eyes won't actually be able to tell the difference between like a 1080p smartphone and one that's slightly less, but you'll definitely be able to tell which one is the better looking phone when you put them side by side. I know not a lot of people have 1080p screens in their house that they can compare this to, but if we're talking TV size resolution, shrunk all the way down past a desktop, all the way down past a laptop, all the way down past a transformer pad infinity tablet to a five inch phone. Yeah, that's awesome. I have high hopes for phones like this and for companies like this to be noticed when they're really innovating when some other companies aren't doing exactly the same thing. So Oppo has done some crazy things in the past with their thin, thin smartphones and their incredibly disturbingly high-end specs in innovation everywhere, but uh, I really hope that this project gets uh, some attention seriously worldwide. Also, if you're curious, if you want some video of the Oppo Finder, which was the 6.65 millimeter smartphone, there are a couple videos of it on YouTube, so I'll leave a link to a pretty good one down below. Uh, that's also a pretty awesome phone, but that's been out for a little while. This 1080p smartphone is the first one that I've actually thought that I actually really want to get. There's no date or pricing or release information out there just yet, but I mean, isn't this a phone that you also want to get? You can leave a thumbs up if you agree or leave a comment and we can discuss it. I'm answering the comments down below. This is a phone that I'm excited to see. This is a company that's based in China, so obviously I'm not expecting it to be immediately readily available worldwide or in the United States for that matter but uh, I'm definitely, definitely excited for this project. So either way, it's the Oppo Find. Make sure you write it down, remember the name, it's gonna be big, uh, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video, which should be the collaboration of all these setup tours that I've been uh, collecting on YouTube over the past day or so. So stay tuned for that if you're excited for it, and I'll talk to you guys in that next video. Peace.